Welcome to this tutorial by Asib12. Today we're just going to be going through PHP variables. So uh, what I want you to do first is of course launch WAMP or uh, ZAMP. So you just, uh, if you haven't got it on, you just go start all programs, uh, WAMP server, start WAMP server, and then click put online if it's there, and then start all services, else leave it if it says put offline because then it's already on. Uh, you might want to press start all services though just to make sure they're all on. Um, with ZAMP it's a different way, I think there's a control panel. And um, uh, Okay, let's get started. Uh, what you just want to do is you want to open your text editor you're going to be using. I'm going to be using Macromedia Dreamweaver 8 for this. And um, uh, you just want to put in the basic HTML setup really. So uh, the uh, HTML tags, I don't see, oh yeah I do, here we go. HTML tags, head tags, you can put a title if you want. Uh, body, body, um, and HTML, and whoops, this is in the wrong place. Actually, it doesn't really matter where you put it. To be honest, you don't even have to have the HTML set up, it's just a uh, good practice. Anyway, let's get on. When we start uh, variables in PHP, we have to represent one with a dollar sign. So when we uh, type a dollar sign, PHP recognizes that we're trying to make a variable. Um, and after this dollar sign, no spaces or anything, we can put the variable name. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate a number, so I'm going to put n1 for number 1. And then we have to put a space, and then we type the assignment operator, which assigns a value to this variable of number 1, or n1. Uh, and then another space, and then we can type our number. Uh, so I'm just going to make it 4. Uh, and let's make a new number. n2 for number 2 equals 5. And finally, two spaces down, n3. Whoops, I forgot the dollar sign there. n3 equals n1 plus n2. So what this is going to do is it's going to create three variables. One with a value of 4 which will be called n1, one with a value of 5 which will be called n2, and one with a value of uh, n2 plus n1 which will be 9 and this is going to be called n3. Um, these won't be displayed so let's just echo them quickly. So echo and then we're just going to type, uh, we don't have to put it in brackets but we can, uh, we don't we don't have to, but we can if we want to. Um, if you do want to put it in brackets, then you have to put the variable name in these curly braces. So, uh, n1, and then the semicolon. Um, another place, if if you don't want to use uh, curly bracket, if you don't want to use uh, quotation marks, I mean, sorry, and you just type n1 like this, that will work. But you can't then go space and then type in a break, a line break, which uh, will break the line so we don't have all our variables on one uh, one line. Uh, to do that we have to enclose this in uh, quotation marks like so and then in, uh, enclose the variable in the curly brackets and then space we well, don't have to put a space and then just put the break line in. Okay so let's just copy and paste this and rename this to n2 and finally, N3. And if we save this, remember go file, save as, and then you just want to go, um, where is it, my computer, local disk, find WAMP or ZAMP. And I forgot to mention this, if you're if it's in WAMP, it's www, www folder, I did mention that. But if you're using ZAMP, you need to look for the HT dot. Uh, should be spelt like this htdocs all one word and then you just place your files in there but for WAMP we're going to be putting it in the www folder now we're going to be using the test PHP scripts and we'll just delete that one quickly and we'll save it as test.php so overwrite our previous one yes um, yes I believe so don't know what that's about. Anyway, uh, go down here, click localhost, or just localhost in the address bar of your uh, browser, or 127.0.0.0, .0 .0 .0 .0. 
and then go to test PHP scripts and test PHP. Okay, so here it's echoed four, five. Remember, we set the variables n n1 and n2 to four and five, and then we echoed them here. And then we set this n3 to n1 plus n2, which is nine, and then we echoed it, and it shows nine. Okay, so you have successfully managed to uh, create variables, echo them, and uh, add them together. But let's get on to something a bit more advanced. We're going to be making strings and then concatenating them, which is basically adding them together, but we use a different operator for that. So uh, let's just say s1 for string1 equals, and this does have to go in quotation marks. Uh, this shouldn't go in quotation marks. If you want to actually add them together, you do not put it in quotation marks. Otherwise, it will think it's just um, a letter for, if that's how you'd say and when you add them together it it will uh it will just give out naught cuz there's no actual numbers it's just letters and you can't add letters together can you so um our first one let's just go back to this useful phrase hello and then make a new one s2 equals world okay and now uh dollar sign s3 equals and then we're just gonna type uh, dollar sign s1 dot this is like using a plus but instead for strings we use a dot to concatenate or add them together s1 dot and then we need to put a space in between don't we otherwise it will be hello world right next to each other so hello dot uh, hello add space add and then we have to add the world bit so s2 and then dot and just put a full stop there not a dot to add it, just a full stop so uh, this is going to create again three variables one being s1 with a value of hello one being s2 with a value of world and finally s3 with a value of s1 which is hello plus or concatenating a space concatenating world and then concatenating finally a full stop so this will just uh, add a full stop on the end, as if we did that. Um, you can also just do that and that, and then you wouldn't have to concatenate all this stuff, but I'm just showing this as an example. Uh, you could also do this and put the space there rather than here. Anyway, let's go back to how we had it before. And f again, let's echo all of these. So echo, and then in the brackets, uh, S1, break, whoops. S2 and finally echo S3 Oops. and we don't need to put the break line there because that's the last thing we echo and if we save this control S or file save and then go back to uh, this. If you uh, accidentally close it down, just type localhost or click this little icon localhost or 127.0.0.1 and go to your test PHP scripts file. Test PHP. Okay, so 459 again. Hello world. Hello space world full stop. Okay, so well done. You have successfully made uh, number variables, variables and string variables, con uh, added number variables, and concatenated string variables. This has just been a tutorial by of 12 over and out.